Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm talking about the things which you shouldn't be carrying when you're traveling, let's say from your home country to the UK. I've already made a video on that. What are the things you should pack in order to check the packing list? I'll mention a link in the description below. That will be the video which I've already made on this channel. And what are the things you should be packing when you're traveling to the UK? So maybe towards the later end of this video, you can feel free to watch that video. But in this video, we'll be sticking to that. What are the restrictions? Because this is very important things. You might be having some of the concerns can we take these liquids with us can we take contact lenses what about razors what about blades what about cream space all of that thing so i've got like all of these things listed down in this video so straight away let me talk about the very first thing here i'll talk about the hand baggage rules so first of all you're just allowed uh, to take one piece of uh, hand luggage and the dimensions shouldn't exceed uh, 56 by 45 by 25 centimeters now there could be some exceptions which you can feel free to check with your own ear lines but that's the kind of general uh, advice which they have listed down on the Gatwick airport which I'm reading this uh, through and then secondly they have got a list of uh, certain prohibited items which shouldn't be in your hand luggage and that is what I want to touch over here now the very first thing is that they've got a 100 ml rule by this 100 ml rule means that there are certain kind of uh, items which are classed in liquid and that certain items you can carry in your hand baggage but that has to be less than 100 ml in the volume now what all things come under that category are your hair spray other aerosol items cream and lotions roll on deodorants, sun tanning, sun cream products, lip gloss, liquid soap, toothpaste, mascara, contact lens solution, foam, nail varnish, jams, preserves, spreads, syrups, speakers, humors, or rice as well they've written. So all of these items you can carry in your hand baggage, but the quantity should be less than 100 ml. And the second restriction is that they should be in a re resealable bag. And the dimensions for the resealable bag should be 20 by 20 centimeter. That's the maximum size for that resealable bag. It can be shorter than 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter. That's the upper limit. So these are the certain restrictions which comes with your hand baggage, which they have mentioned out. So basically in this section, this is a list of the items which you're not allowed to carry in your hand baggage, but you're allowed to carry in your whole baggage. The very first thing is here you can carry the liquid, creams, gel, paste in containers which are over 100 ml. If it's less than 100 ml, carry in the hand baggage. If it's more than that, you can feel free to carry in your whole baggage. Then secondly, you can also carry your sharp items including scissors in your whole baggage, but not in like uh, hand baggage, whole baggage you can carry. You can carry razor blades, knives with blades of any length. Uh, hypodermic needles, tools, catapults, walking, hiking poles, sporting bats, darts, billards, snooker or pool tubes. So these are the items which are not allowed to take in your hand baggage but you feel free to you can take that in your whole baggage. Well, in this section, these are the items which are prohibited in either like you cannot carry in your whole package, you also can't carry in your hand baggage. A lot of baggage is going on, so you cannot like take any of these items that are prohibited. These are flammable liquids and solids, oxidizers such as bleaching powders, organic peroxides, tear gas devices, or any gas cylinders, infectious substances such as life virus materials wet cell card batteries, magnetrons, instruments containing mercury, instruments containing magnets. This is important. Instruments which contain magnets, this might be a usual doubt. You cannot, it's kind of prohibited. Then you cannot take the fireworks, obvious, toy replica guns, non-safety matches, fire lighters, lighter fuel, uh, painters or thinners. So here I would like to point out, so if you call a cigarette lighter, I think you can take one cigarette lighter with you. So for that, in order to check that, you can check that on Google. So, but I think uh, as far as I'm aware about, you can take a cigarette lighter, at least one with yourself. Thanks to the edit, I'm mentioning this section. So I just saw is that whether you can carry the uh, cigarette lighter for yourself. So as they've written, you can carry one lighter only on board uh, the aircraft, which must be kept on your person throughout the flight. So yes, you can carry one lighter only. If it's two lighters, they'll kind of remove from your uh, security guard. So when you're doing your security, check-in so they'll just remove if, if you've got like more than one lighter so i think this is a short edit now continue the video you cannot take poisons arsenic cyanide or weed killers radioactive materials acids corrosive then you cannot take quick lime or oil paper vehicle fuel system parts which have contained fuel and party poppers so these are the items which are prohibited in either of your whole baggage or your hand baggage itself now if you're having a merry 
medication now let's say if that medication is more than 100 ml now there is kind of uh, kind of uh, kind of exception that you can take that in your hand baggage so basically as i said in liquid things it should be always less than 100 ml but if it's medicine more than 100 ml you can take in your hand baggage again the same restriction it should, should be a maximum limit of the resizable bag which is 20 by 20 centimeter the second you should be having a prescription from the doctor from wherever you've purchased that medication that it is a requirement uh just like a necessary item for you that medication which you're carrying which is more than 100 ml in your hand baggage so in this section i want to mention about the food items so you can carry cakes fruit vegetables sandwiches and all solid food in your hand baggage however you cannot uh, like carry the food which is having a high liquid content of sauces such as paste uh, soups you so cannot uh, carry that with yourself in your hand baggage because it cannot come through the security uh, and the size of the container for all of that uh, solid items which you've got for the food should not exceed uh, more than 100 ml so that kind of 100 ml uh, liquid rule which i was explaining kind of continues all over however you can contain the solid items such as uh, cakes fruit just as your kind of uh, meal in your plate however what i'll suggest is that you really don't need to carry anything uh, such food items because you really get a meal in your plane where you are like having a free meal you can have as much meal as you want you can have as much drink on the plane so and moreover there are canteens around in the airport it, that they're slightly expensive but still like there are kind of opportunities where you can have the food on the airport so i won't really suggest you to take any food items with you unless that are masalas and masalas which you want to take with yourself and all of that masalas you have to pack in your whole baggage instead of your hand baggage and here in the next section i will also like to mention about the electrical items now there isn't so the there are the prohibitions which i talked about the batteries and stuff but here i would like to share my own personal experience so i had my laptops uh, mobile phones power banks all of that in my hand baggage and i think whenever you do your security check-in they always make sure that you have to remove all of your that kind of electronic items you have to put them in a tray and that's how they do the security check-in so they will be taking through that belt and that's how then you will be putting back in your bag after that so just be aware just be prepared about this that maybe you have to remove your mp3 cds whatever laptops in that kind of a tray do the security check-in they will be getting you and then put back in your bag so i think uh, but there isn't any specific restriction apart from the prohibited items which i had explained before so i think that covers the main things which i want to talk in this video these are the restrictions be prepared about them and now comes the good thing that what all things you should be packing and the link is in the description below for that video feel free to watch that video if you find some value make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for regular updates we'll see you in the next video bye bye